today we will see the uh, take the discussion on the composition of matter yesterday i gave you the yes open book test of this lesson so the first question is to complete the following table in this table inside i gave you some of the materials name its chemical formula the composition you have to write here and type of matter you have to write in the next box so water so water its chemical formula is the h2 that all, all you know and type of a matter it is a compound it is compound because as i told you the definition of the compound that is the if to one or two um, two or more atoms of a different element or same element come together then it forms a compound okay now so here it is the carbon uh, compound next it is the carbon its chemical formula is c as you see here only one element is there so here it is it is a element here is the atom of only one element that's why it is a element oxygen so the oxygen's chemical formula is o 2 oxygen always exist in the o2 form okay so if you are writing o then it is an element and if you are writing o2 then it is a then it is a compound okay but it is a compound of the same element the next air air is a as you know that there are water vapors are present inside it carbon dioxide is present so here air is made up of water vapors it is made of nitrogen gas is more in inside it oxygen gas is there in it then carbon dioxide gas is there some other elements are there water uh, other inert gases are there after that some water vapors are also present inside it so so many compounds elements are present inside the air that's why it, it, this is a mixture okay as i told you water is a compound carbon is a element oxygen is also form a uh, present in the compound form because it is present in o2 form okay and that's why here it is the chart that you have to complete it okay in exam if you are uh, writing only one side then you will get the half mark for this and both sides you have to write means this part and that part both you have write then you will get the one mark for this question okay now next uh, point is the classify the following same thing is there but you have to write it here so h2o just now i told you that h2o is a it is a compound the next is co2 it is also a compound as according to definition of the compound two or more elements if come together it forms the compound so n2 it is a compound it is it has a two mole atoms of the nitrogen next it is a argon it is only one element is here that's why ar will come here argon and air as i told you now only air is a mixture of different gases which are present in it and lastly zinc that is zn and it is a element because it is made up of only one kind of a element right now the next question is the what is the difference between between first element and the compound what is the difference between element and the compound so for that what we we will move towards the textbook hmm So first it is element and compound and second is element and the mixture and both i will show in the textbook now and then we will take the next part of the lesson next part of no for that here it is this compound here it is the diagram I means representation of the difference between the element compound and the mixture so here you see nitrogen that is n2 it is made up of same kind of the uh, same kind of a, a, uh, atoms nitrogen dioxide is shown by the different means carbon and uh, nitrogen and oxygen these two atoms are present and n2 and no2 inside this is n2 and this is no2 so it is a mixture so if you are writing the it's a difference hmm? you have to write the what the points you have to write the diagrams are not necessary it is written in the example so first constituent substance of element is only one and it is the element itself first i took the element mixture and the element okay and secondly 
I told you to compare the element with compound and afterwards compound with the mix uh, element with the mixture. So here these are the points. We will understand it. Then you can write it into if they are asking about if they can ask you in the write the difference between the element compound, compound mixture, mixture element or compound element. They can ask anything, but if you know this all properties, you can write its differentiation very in very well manner. So constituent substance has only one element here, only one, and it is that is the compound. So here constituent substance of compound is only one. Compound is only one, but uh, but it is that compound itself. Okay, so compounds it is there. Here the constituent element is element itself and com constituent element is a compound itself okay and here constituent substance of the mixture two or more elements or elements or compound it is present inside it i took it in the details okay when i took this lesson all the atoms are of are alike the molecular molecule of compounds are alike and here it is different means atom molecules of a mixture are of two or more types in this way in two marks question inside you have to write the four difference uh, four differences that also one from if two marks question is there you have to write four differences for example one means these two two three and third four you see in this way if you are writing the four differences then only you will get the two marks for this question okay now here next it is the atoms uh, the, all the atoms of molecule of an element are alike are joined with each other with a chemical bond this is the constituent atom of molecule and compounds are two or more types are joined with each other by a chemical bond only the constituent elements of the mixture and the mixture are different from the other and not joined by the chemical compound so you have to write the difference between this i gave you in the book uh, element mixture otherwise element and the compound so you can select any four points for this question okay and then complete it and we'll move towards the next question that is the and the question is what are the types of following first element compound and the mixture only you have to write the type of this element compound and the mixture okay so here it is types of compounds types of element and types of so here it is types of elements so which are the types of elements so first of all the types of elements are here given so elements were classified into metals and the non metals okay and new type is called as a metalloid so elements are classified into metals non metals and the metalloid okay so this is the these are the types of the which that is the um, elements next it is the types of compound so compound types are given here in the dark that is organic or organic compounds or carbon compounds and second inorganic compounds okay inorganic compounds that is inside it carbon is absent and with this some more uh, one more compound it is given that is the complex compound these are the types of the what compound and at la third i ask you the mixture type of mixture so mixtures two types are there homogeneous means it is a one phase is only and heterogeneous mixture so these are the types of the which mixture so for this question you have to write the what types of the follow here only so which will come here here it will come element name the following inside they may be asked you element compound and at last uh, what element is element compound uh, sorry metals non metals and metalloids will come here metals metalloid metals non metals and metalloids compounds inside what which we seen that is the organic compounds next it is the inorganic compounds inorganic compounds and third we see in the complex compound complex compound 
okay and mixture inside two types are there that is homogeneous and next it is the heterogeneous compounds okay so these are the types of element compound and the mixture and now one more question is there why milk is a mixture here instead of milk they may be asking in the question that is the why air is a mixture why air is a mixture so milk and air both uh, means discussion we will see how why milk is a compound and why air is a well, sorry why milk is a mixture and where why air is also mixture answer for this question is here milk a mixture as you told i told you before only milk is a mixture of water lactose fats proteins and the few more nutrient substances the proportion of various ingredients in the milk is different okay as per the source okay means it is it is a milk of a buffalo it is milk of cow it is a milk of a which the sheep so it depends on the proportion of the ingredients is different uh, ingredients of the milk are different as per the source the proportion of fat in the cow is 3.5 percent while it is in the 6.9 percent in the buffalo's milk this ingredient of water naturally represent a large proportion in the milk therefore milk exists in the liquid state and the sweetness of the milk is due to the ingredients like called as lactose in other words the properties of the constituent elements remains in the milk okay this water shows its own properties sugar shows its own properties and that's why what happens milk, milk is a mixture okay next uh, if you speak about the air is a mixture air is also made up of the oxygen nitrogen carbon dioxide so many elements are present inside it and due to the, uh, so many uh, gases are present inside it and these gases are there they are what happens they shows its uh, own properties means oxygen helps for burning carbon dioxide fire extinguish then hydrogen burn itself these properties are remain in the remains as it is and that's why air is also a mixture so in this way we have to write the answers for this questions okay so here this is a uh, this is we seen that is the milk is a mixture or air is a mixture with this from this lesson you have to learn the definitions okay definitions because uh, as we are taking the exam we have a uh, less time for the revision so here in this also definitions also you have learned for from this lesson so which are those uh, the those definitions solute solvent and the which uh, mix uh, wait wait uh, hmm. so solution solvent solute uh, solute types of means solution uh, solution means colloidal solution or what liquid in liquid gas in liquid solid in solid so these all things you have to learn or understand for the exam and with this molecular formula and valency of the element also you have to learn okay so today we we'll stop here only because we took the discussion and test uh, discussion on test and test uh, just so with test you have to learn the points from the textbook also and for each lessons exercise also you have to make it perfect okay for the exam okay so today we will stop here only okay thank you and have a good day with this is chart also you have to complete huh? this charts also you have to make it perfect because complete the table is the question for us in the in the exam okay thank you and have a